All right, guys, since this is Old Man Revolution, where we talk about how to eat like a man, train like a man, and live a life that you design, I want to talk about what happens when you design a life where you are leaner than you are now, look more muscular than you are now, so you eat to cut fat. And the question is, why do you always lose muscle when you go on a diet? So I'm going to go ahead and explain that, okay? And to show you, to demonstrate exactly what happens when you go on a diet, I'm wearing a parka in the middle of summer in Florida, okay? So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and measure my biceps, okay? So let's see what we got here. Boom. Not quite 18 inches, okay? 17 and three quarter inches, okay? Not bad for an old man. Now, all of a sudden, I go, I take off my parka, uh, and I start telling people that I have 18 inch arms, or 17 and three quarter inches, and uh, you know, somebody says, show me. So I go ahead and I measure my bicep again, okay? And all of a sudden now I've got 15 and three quarter inches. So how is it that I lost two inches off of my biceps just within like, you know, 10 seconds, okay? And the answer is obviously I didn't. And the next time that somebody asks you or that you ask somebody, okay, why you always lose muscle when you go on a cut, the answer is you don't, okay? So pay attention to this. I had this jacket on. Because of the bulk around my arms, my arms looked bigger, okay? But that wasn't my muscle. That was my arm covered by a thick sleeve of a thick jacket, okay? As soon as I take the jacket off, my arm measurement is much smaller, but my muscles are the same. And it the same thing happens to you when you lose fat, okay? Now, you know, let's say, okay, here are my arms. You know, I don't really have too much fat, but see, this is fat, okay? I got fat around my delts, I got fat around here. I have more fat on my chest, okay? On my, uh, my, my lats, okay, I got more fat. And I really have a lot of fat on my lower back, okay? Now, why is it that when you go on a diet, you know you're gonna lose fat? You go on a diet, your waist gets smaller, and you're like, I'm losing fat around my waist. You're not scared you're gonna lose lower back muscle. You're not scared you're gonna lose your abs, your obliques. You just realize you're almost the, you're, the only reason that you're getting a smaller waist is because you're getting you know, rid of all the fat that's accumulated around your waist. But when your chest gets smaller, when your back gets smaller, when your arms get smaller, when your legs get smaller, depending upon where you store fat, people are like, I'm losing muscle, and you're not. It was never your muscle in the first place, okay? And, you know, the fact of the matter is everybody, unless they've already cut down and they know exactly, you know, what their body composition is from experience, everybody seems to think that they have less fat and more muscle. I mean, I remember when I was uh, coaching guys, like one guy I remember specifically, he weighed 250 pounds, hadn't really worked out in his life. Okay, maybe he you know, did some sports in high school, but he never really lifted weights in his entire life. And he swore to me that if he got down from 250 down to two, uh, 220, lost 30 pounds, that he'd have ripped abs. And I'm looking at his height, his waist measurement, his weight, looking at his pictures, you know, asking him questions about how much exercise he's done. He did not have a lot of muscle. And, you know, I had to break it to him. Not only did he have to go from, you know, from 250 to 230, he was probably gonna have to get down to like, you know, 180, probably 170 to be really lean. And not to be shredded competition, negative 0% body fat, but just to get, you know, lean where he's got abs and looks good, he would probably have to get down to, you know, at least 180, probably under 170. So instead of going down and dropping 30 pounds, he really had to drop like 70, 80 pounds, okay? And, you know, he obviously didn't want to get that small, but the fact is he didn't have the muscle in the first place, okay? So that's basically what I'm trying to say here. You know, just look at your whole body the way you look at your waist, okay? Don't think, oh my God, I'm losing my deadlift strength and my back isn't strong because, you know, my waist is getting smaller. Your lower back muscles are still there. Your abs and obliques are still there. It's just you have all this fat accumulated, and that's why your waist gets smaller. But the same thing happens. Like I said, I have less fat on my arms, but my arms, when I lose 20 pounds, which is what I'm planning on doing, 
I'm going to have slightly smaller arms. I'm going to lose at least a quarter of an inch, probably more like a half an inch around my arms. I'm going to lose a lot because of all this fat on my chest is going to go. All this fat on my uh, lats are going to go. You know, I'm going to lose a lot of size. But like I said, none of that was size I really had in the first place. It's muscle with fat on top of it. So yes, the whole size goes down, but the muscles stay the same. And this is the very important thing. You look more muscular the leaner you are, okay? You have the same amount of muscle as you do now, but without the fat hiding it, where you could actually see like the muscle fibers, the separation, the cuts, the abs, the obliques, when you could actually see your muscles and the separation between the muscles, even though you're smaller and you weigh less, you look a lot more muscular. You know, it's like I used to say to people, you know, if you want to look like you gained 10 pounds of muscle, lose five pounds of, muscle, of fat. You lose five pounds of fat and people will swear you built up, you know, 10 pounds of muscle just because the muscle you already have, you can see. Uh, you know, the same thing with another guy um, he commented on one of my videos like a couple years ago. He said he was trying to get bigger, trying to get bigger, trying to get bigger, doing all the bulking workouts, doing all the bulking diets. Then all of a sudden he said, screw it, he's just going to cut down and do a, you know, do a diet. And as soon as he started getting lean, people accused him of using steroids when he was actually losing weight, but he looked a lot more muscular. And because of that, people were asked him if he's you know, on gear because he just looks so much more muscular, even though he had lost, not gained weight. So like I said, that's exactly what it is, you know, what happens when you lose uh, fat. You don't lose muscle, okay? You just lose size. And just like me taking off that jacket and measuring my arm again, the fat you have around your arms, the fat you have around your chest and back, was never really muscle in the first place. So yeah, you lose size, but you don't lose muscle. Anyway, um, check it out, guys. If you have not subscribed to the channel, subscribe, click that little bell so you get notified when I uh, upload new videos. I'm putting a lot of content into Instagram from now on, like day-to-day -day kind of stuff. So follow Old Man Revolution on Instagram. And if you haven't joined the fraternity yet, join the anaerobics fraternity, theanaerobicsfraternity.com, link in the description below. I'm uploading today a uh, video program that will teach you everything you need to know about how to get fat adapted. Okay, so that's going to be going up this week in the anaerobics fraternity. You know, you just pay one fee and then you just get all of my courses and that's the new course that's going up right now. So theanaerobicsfraternity.com. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Comment, question below. I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.